So we are up to day 43 of going through my journal entries. And the quote for this day was, if you don't heal what hurt you, you'll bleed on people who didn't cut you. And the prompt said, are you living with a hurt you haven't healed from a past relationship or event in your life? Have you hurt others because of this pain? What are you doing to heal yourself? So if you're journaling along, go ahead and pause here and kind of think about what your answer to this would be. And I'll be back in just a second with my response. Okay, so I'm a little bit nervous to see what I wrote on this one because I think at this time that I wrote this, I was maybe going through some relationship issues, but I guess we'll see. Uh, okay, so talking about past relationships, have others hurt you and what have you done? So I started out by saying, I'm not sure. And then I said, I mean, my relationship with my dad wasn't the best, but I've never really felt hurt by it. Same with my mom. Um, I've definitely been hurt by past relationships with men. Even with my sister to some extent. Um, even though their actions and attitudes hurt my feelings, I don't think I've ever really internalized any of it. Like I saw it more as a problem with them, not as a problem with me. And with the guy that I was in the relationship with, I said it's a bit different. Um, he's so shallow, it's a bit hard. Uh, it's a bit hard to not feel like I'm young, thin, or pretty enough, and to blame myself for being lazy and not fit enough for him. But I also know that there are many things more important than looks, and that there are a lot of men out there who would find me attractive, so it doesn't really bother me. I don't know if I've hurt others, but part of that comes from the fact that I rarely let anyone in, so it's hard to hurt others when there's no one around, when there's no one around to hurt. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I haven't really been hurt that much, honestly, in my life. I mean, I think there were instances that maybe I should have felt hurt. And maybe I did feel a little bit hurt, but I, like I said, I don't really internalize it. Like I don't, I don't necessarily like, it's like, I know, like I feel guilt for myself whenever I do something wrong. I do feel guilty for things that I do and probably more than I should. Like, I think I tend to like take on too much guilt for things. Um, and so that may be a reason that I kind of push people away, but also like when people do something bad to me, I don't tend to take it personally. I just typically, I mean, sometimes like initially I will and I'll get a little bit upset at them, but I like, I don't hold grudges or hold on to like anger very long which is kind of a bad thing because I tend to like overlook when people do things wrong to me and um but also I don't hold on to that anger so and maybe I've overcompensated by just like cutting ties with everyone to prevent it from happening but yeah I mean I don't hold on to a lot of hurt um from the past and then I talked about that with like my past relationship with the person who was really shallow and like what it turned out to be, I'm pretty sure is not that like they were doing bad things. They were, they were cheating and things like that. And I think to them, they used my looks as like justification for cheating. Like you know, oh, well, you're not perfect. And so it's because you're not like staying in shape and things like that, that I'm doing that. But like, they only said it to me one time, really. And as soon as they said it, I like called them out on it. And I was like, that's not, that's not why. And then they were kind of like, 
I'm, or I was like, that's not an excuse. And they kind of like backpedaled and were like, I know, I, you know, but it does, it does hurt whenever you're interested in someone and you know that they're shallow and you know that they're into looks and things like that. Um, but I don't know, like it, it did hurt me, but I don't feel like I, it made me feel that insecure because like I said here, like, even though I'm just, I just took it as like, okay, he's shallow. I'm never going to be able to maintain like the looks that would appease him. And so I just let that relationship go because I knew that there's other people out there. Either one, there would be someone else out there that would find me attractive or two, if there's not, I would rather be alone than to be trying to live up to some beauty standard that this person is with. And if, you know, something happens and I can't maintain my looks, then that person would leave. And so I, that's not the type of person that I want to be with. So like, yeah, I mean, it kind of sucked, but like, it didn't really bother me. Like I never have felt, I guess, the need to... I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm kind of rambling. Like, I've never felt like I couldn't, like that I would be alone forever. Like I've never felt like that me having a partner like wasn't an option for me. I knew that I looked probably good enough to attract someone and then that I would have an option, I guess. I don't know, that sounds kind of like full of myself, but yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm like, I'm definitely not a 10, I'm not like drop dead gorgeous, but I'm also attractive enough that just based on attractiveness, I could get a partner, but at the same time, I don't want a partner that's just with me for my looks. And I saw a TikTok where a girl was talking about this, that like being conventionally attractive actually makes dating a little bit harder in the sense that you don't know if the person is actually interested in you or like as a person or if they're only interested in your looks and she was talking about how her ex-husband didn't care about her at all wasn't interested in her at all they just like to be seen with her and you know said that she had good genetics to make a child with with and so you know, it's kind of a double-edged sword, you know, being like super attractive, but I'm not. So it's kind of like, I feel like I'm in a good place where I'm kind of in the middle. I'm just attractive enough that I have options, but then I'm not so attractive that I'm only like viewed for my looks and I have to feel like I have to uphold certain looks. I don't know why this has gotten into this, but that wasn't the purpose of it. Like, have you been hurt? Yes, I've been hurt. Everybody's been hurt um, from past relationships, from family and friends and and boyfriends. Um, have I hurt others because of this pain? Possibly, like not purposely, but maybe others have been hurt by me being so closed off. And then what am I doing to heal myself? like this I guess just trying to better understand myself and why I think the way that I do and the things that I think so yeah that's probably not a very good response I don't think that's a good response but that's what I have for this so that's day 43 and I'll be back tomorrow with day 44.